What's going on everybody? Today is Sunday, June 2nd. And Pops and I are back in the shop. Yo. He's over there taking off the uh, electric brake shutoff for our right front brake. <clears throat> we put it on last night, just peeling around and, uh, or not before last, peeling around and uh, mounted it to see where the firewall was gonna be in our car. <clears throat> and um, so yesterday, we got more bars on the uh, Hound Dog chassis number five. I'll turn around. I'll turn the camera around, show you everything we got done last night that we didn't do in the last video. I said in the last video we were gonna throw more bars at it, and we did last night. So I'll show you all that, and then I'll show you what we've got done today. Uh, Pops and I have been pretty busy today, and uh, it's been pretty hot today. We chose the hottest day of the weekend to work on our own car. So uh, I guess it, that's how it is sometimes. And uh, I'll show y'all what we got going on. So we go. Show y'all what we're about to do. So y'all hang out. Alrighty, so in the last video, we had the mid plate bars in and then we done the drive shaft loop. So Pops and I got down some inch and a quarter tubing um, last night. And while we had the one inch tubing out that we used on the drive shaft loop, we went ahead and made our crossbar here. And if y'all remember, we put tabs on this. Uh, it helps hold the hood up. And uh, if you want to, uh, Dustin really on his car, the, he turned the tabs forward and he used aluminum from here to the front hoop that we put on. And he made that his radiator hold down. So however you want to use that, it works either way. Uh, we done our inch and a quarter bars here. And then we got our inch and a half in our diagonals there and there. Uh, that one's welded in. That one is just tacked in. We get our measurements and then uh, we punch a hole in the firewall because it will go through the firewall. So we usually do the bottom of the firewall up to these bay bars, one piece all the way across. We punch a hole and then we run that bar back through there and just weld it in then. So it's just tacked in right now. Uh, we went ahead and put our diagonal in the halo, uh, inch and a quarter, got it welded in. We done our inch and a quarter there, which is just an extra support for the halo. And then we done our one inch bars in the corners here. And we will do them here as well on both sides. Y'all know we put them in every corner. So we'll get those in there. And uh, so that's everything we done last night on the old hound dog here. And um, we may do some more tonight. I'm not sure. Uh, it's already seven o'clock right now. And we got some big stuff we want to do over here. So today, if y'all remember, Pops cut that out Friday. <clears throat> uh, we do have the factory floor pan in this car. So we wanted to move the firewall back so we can run our headers and um, just take advantage of that rule. And uh, so today we got all the bottom tacked on. I've still got to do a little more welding. Uh, as far as welding the firewall to the floor pan, I'm gonna put some more welds in there along that seam right there, especially on the driver's side. I don't have a lot of welds over there. So I wanna put some more welds in there. We put tabs on and uh, put our T-bar on, the width we need to put our body on. So we've got that made. We made our top piece here. This is just a four inch piece that overlaps. And uh, we pot ribbit to this T-bar piece of aluminum and then we bolt to our tabs and it makes it solid. <laughs> but if this ever gets bent out here, we can replace this aluminum by drilling these pot rivets, knock these bolts out, and we'll be and this this is tacked to this, so this won't move unless it gets just melee out here. And uh we'll be able to lay a new T-bar on there and fix it. So we also put these in. Uh these bars were up here and we had to move them back to clear the headers. The way the headers come up and come out, the tubes, like I explained on that one, I had to bend it and I had to bend it on our personal car. So it comes out and clears the tube by a good bit, about an inch. So I got that one in and that one in. And what I done, Pops and I talked about it, we decided to put these bars in exactly where we put them in on the new cars that way, in case we ever decide to put a mid plate in this chassis, we can just put our mid plate mounts on these bars and they'll be in the right spot. 
because if y'all remember when we built this car it has the rear mounts like that uh the reason that's all bolted together is because that was over in here this morning so <clears throat> we mocked everything up i went ahead and remade this bar here since that was inch and a half up there coming off the door bar i just bent inch and a quarter and just slid it up in that and welded it and then of course welded here so just kind of replaced that bar to protect feet area and uh got all that fixed up so right now i'm gonna get my welder turned on and i'm gonna finish welding this stuff because it's not welded on the inside because that block and everything was over in here pops got it pulled out while i ran to town because we couldn't find spray paint that was close to the powder coat so i went and seen my nephew today at rural king and we have two quarts right here of paint <clears throat> one this one is mixed a little bit lighter than this one this one is close to original plum crazy purple and then we put a little more aluminum and a little more white in this and, and lightened it up a little bit so we're going to make a decision on which one we want to use we know they'll dry different so we'll just have to see what happens and i got some primer um just some farming implement primer and we'll mix it up and spray it on there first obviously and then we'll get some purple on it this right here doesn't get seen it'll be under the body mainly this is for rust and we wanted it to somewhat match we didn't want it to just be black or what you know whatever so that's what we're working on now so y'all hang out i'm gonna weld this stuff up and then we'll pick back up and explain what we're gonna do on the paint y'all hang out All right, y'all, uh, air compressor's running in the background. We got a hose leak, we got to fix again. <laughs> we got to get us some more air hose. Well, y'all seen me shooting the primer? Now I know there's gonna be some painters in the comments, so y'all don't jump on me in the comments. I am not a professional painter. Um, we don't really want this to be perfect. I mean, it's a race car. So the paint that we have may not match perfect, but it'll be close. Uh, it's plum crazy purple just a you know dodge cross the color so i got that primer firewall primer and i just let him primer these bay bars out because we had a bunch of grind spots right here where we cut the bars off and uh obviously we're not going to get back to the thickness of that powder coat and that primer right there is pretty tacky so here in just a minute we're going to spray some color on it and see what happens but uh we're gonna let it sit for just a little bit i did go ahead and spray the inside without trying to cover everything obviously we got the top of the car and the sheet metal and all covered with some old sheets and that way we can keep anything from going you know on the bars that'll be seen all the time because obviously this will be covered up for the majority so you won't see this on the racetrack you won't see it in the pits unless we get protested or somebody wants to see under the hood of it but then they're going to walk up here and get close yeah then they're going to get close to see it so uh, yeah that's where we're at. I think we're gonna shoot some color here in just a minute. And uh, the guy told me to mix it one to one. So it's just single stage Omni for anybody that does paint. That's what it is, it's from O'Reilly's. So I'll, uh, obviously I'll throw the clip in here where I, my nephew was mixing it for me. I did video a little bit where we opened it up and looked at the color. So I'll throw that in here right before we start spraying so y'all can see it before we, 
spray it on anything. But I wanted to use a gray primer. I feel like um, the Plum Crazy is a dark purple, but judging by the bar that I took and judging by Pops and I looking at it just now, if it dries a little darker than what it is in the can, it'll pretty much be spot on. So we hope it's close. We'll see what happens. Y'all hang out. Got to get paint. Got to get, get paint for that hound dog. Yeah. Got my nephew over here at O'Reilly's hooking us up with some paint. I brought the bar off of my personal car. Got some paint mixing up. It's plum crazy, but we lightened it just a little bit. See if we can match this right here, the powder coat for our firewall. So y'all hang out. We'll see how this turns out. We'll see what happens. I need to let it mix a little more. Pretty close. That looks pretty good. We'll see what the second one comes yeah. out looking like. We'll mix that one a little more. Well, y'all, y'all can critique me in the comments. I haven't sprayed a whole lot of paint in my life and I've never sprayed single stage. So that was a little bit of a learning curve. I did realize that the single stage likes a little bit lower air pressure uh, than most of your like Rust-Oleum, like we painted that black open wheel chassis before. I used about 40 PSI, which that paint is a lot thicker and I had it thinned a little bit uh the single stage mix one to one the first coat i did mix it one to one and it was a little thin by the second coat i kind of let it be a little bit thicker and go on there a little bit heavier uh it's not a perfect match but it is pretty close so it's gonna be hard to match it perfectly i'm sure uh being that that's illusion purple powder coat that we're trying to match uh so it did it did match okay it matches good enough for me let me put it that way uh like i said you won't be seeing this on a racetrack and uh it does have metal flake in it like a pearl uh when they mixed it when my nephew mixed it earlier uh it has a blue pearl and a red pearl in it so there's a little bit of overspray on a couple of bars but that's no big deal but there's there's kind of an idea there's the paint and then there's the powder coat so you can tell a little bit of a difference but it works for me let me put it that way we're good we'll let this dry and harden up and uh like well we probably won't work on this until midweek probably yeah. we'll be back on the that hound dog chassis there and uh so it would be midweek before we work on this so this will have plenty of time to cure uh of course sitting in this shop during the day I'm sure it'll be about 100 degrees in here, so it'll pretty much bake it on. I did spray the inside as well. Mainly, we don't want it to rust, so we don't want all that metal that we put in to rust, that new firewall, but uh, it turned out pretty good. I'm happy with it. You happy with it? I'm happy with it. Good deal. Well, that's gonna be it, y'all, for this one. I know this will probably be a short video, um, a little bit of time lapse, a little bit of talking. We just wanted to work on our car, get this buttoned up. Midweek, when we start working on this thing, we'll be slinging sheet metal back on it. So, well, I can put the, all the wiring and brake lines and all that yeah. back in too. Yep. Pops has been eating to put all the wiring and brake lines back in it. So he can do that now and uh, get all that rerouted. Of course, we got to drill some holes over here uh, for fuel lines and stuff like that. I think Pops may have enough room for a brake line. If not, he can drill him a hole or yeah. or two, however he needs. But it turned out pretty good. I like it. It's going to be all right. Oh, yeah, it's going to be all right. You ain't going to see it. And we get the yellow on it, you never know the difference. I don't know. I don't know. She'll be all right. Well, y'all, we're going to call tonight. It's about 9 o'clock. 4.30 comes early. So uh, time, about time to go take a shower and go to bed. 
Give something to blow the horn when you go through. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to call tonight. We can't thank y'all enough. Thank y'all for everything. Thank y'all for supporting us. Thank y'all to the new subscribers. After today, I, uh, this, today's Sunday. Of course, I put a video out today. This video will be up Monday, uh, hopefully Monday morning. And that way, y'all have this one to watch on Monday. Can't thank y'all enough. Appreciate y'all hanging out with us. Until next time. Thank you, gal, guys. Appreciate everything. Appreciate all the comments. Appreciate y'all watching. Till next time, God bless you. See y'all.